What's going on, y'all, man? It be me. It be I. I am no longer official Dre live. Interesting. Very, very interesting the way I've done things, the way I've been doing things on this page. A lot of y'all know me as official Dre, official Dre live, whatever the case may be. And ultimately what I believe right now, ultimately with this chapter and everything that I wanted to do on my page, first of all, I just want to welcome anybody who's new to my channel. I want to welcome people that may enjoy my content, like my videos, anything involving me, anything that oh, involves me in terms of making videos and making content. I haven't made a proper video for y'all in so long. I haven't made a video for y'all in so long that I've been trying to honestly figure figure things out. You feel me? Um, I've been taking notes. I can't grab my notebook. My controller's right there. I actually almost felt like I've been in my book writing, taking notes and, and things that I want to do and things that I want to create and things that I want to achieve with my page. and step you feel me a lot of y'all may not watch this video because it's a yap session i'm already knowing a lot of y'all ask me well why did you change your name a lot of y'all aren't even opposed to the name change a lot of y'all don't even know i went by a different name but to the people that have been here or the six thousand people that have been here in comparison to the hundred people that just subbed to me to the six thousand of y'all man that's been fucking with me up until this point i really do appreciate it but you feel me it's, it's no surprise with some of this shit. i've been doing this this content thing and trying to make this content push for the last three years you feel me I have no anniversary day because I really don't remember when I really started trying to take this stuff serious. And part of this grind and part of everything that I wanted to do on my page is be remembered. I want something that people can remember me by. I want people to come through and be entertained. I want people that want to watch my content, watch my videos or anything that involves me. I want y'all to be entertained. There's going to be more entertaining moments. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. The whole thing about being a content creator is to create. The whole thing about being in this space is because you do have a voice. How can you have a voice if nobody remembers you? I don't want to be remembered as that one dude that was wearing a bonnet. I want to be remembered for my name and what I've been able to do, what I've been able to create. Even though there's so many people that do the same thing as me, so many people that are doing the same thing as me, so many people that want to be what I'm trying to be right now which is okay, it's cool, but only some of us is gonna survive, my baby. Some of us is only gonna make it to that next step, and I think me taking this step right here is, is it. As you guys already know, like I said in the intro, I am no longer official Dre live. I'm not, I'm not Dre live, I'm not, none of those other things right now. In this moment, and from this point on, probably until death do us part, I am Dre Onyx. Yes, sir. I, every time I hear this name now, I start smiling. I just feel like this name more aligns and, and is, it, it feels good. It feels like a new start. It feels like a new chapter. It feels like a new part of my life that I'm beginning. I'm starting from zero. It feels like I'm starting from scratch all over again. You're not gonna type in official Dre Live. You're gonna type in Dre Onyx. You're gonna ask who is Dre Onyx. You're going to try to be like, there's more aura to that name. And, and most people would probably ask, how did you find it? How did you come up with it? Well, deeply rooted within my family, but nobody carries the name anymore, so. Why not me carry the name? Everybody already calls me Dre. That's one thing. Everybody calls me Dre, but also nobody gets called Onyx. Nobody gets called Onyx. I have the need, the want, and the desire to be different than anybody else. I have the need and the want to always be looking to be different doing, and, and try to do things that people aren't doing because it's so hard to be creative in, in, in this world right now. It's so hard to be your own person. You have to do what everybody else is doing in order to just get noticed. And they're doing 20 V1s, but are they gonna watch your 20 V1s? See, that's, I don't wanna be in that battle. I don't wanna be in that war. It, don't, it may not feel like a war, but this is what it is. It's a dog eat dog world. You feel like Juco League, you feel me? Everybody fighting to be noticed. You feel me, man? On top of that, you feel me? There's a lot of significance behind that name. There's a lot of significance that, once again, nobody in my family carries that name anymore. That's not my last name, but you feel me? That name carries in riches, you feel me? Luxury, high-end, send high-end fabrics. In Greek, it means claw or high-end nails or you feel me? Stuff like that. There's something behind this product. There's something behind this name. There's something here as opposed to my last name and my very first name. Who, to the people who remember my very first name, my day ones, please don't ever say that. All right. That was the beginning. But now it, feel, it feels as though like I've condensed down a little bit. I, I've picked up on things and taken classes and courses on people, what they respond to, what they do, what they're trying to do, what they want to create, what they want to be. I've taken classes on this shit, on humans. And one thing is, anytime I have conversations with people and I tell them, well, I never really tell anybody that I have a YouTube or I make TikTok videos or anything like that. They see a camera. So they ask, what are you recording for? And I just tell people. The thing is though, in conversation, when speaking to people, if I said my name, official Dre Live, and you have to type that in all together. That's who knows how many goddamn words. Too, too many characters for people that are millennials. You feel me? So now 
instead of about 14 characters, you have seven. You type in my name, it pops up everywhere. I assured, listen, I put the time, the work, the effort. I assured that anywhere you type in Dre Onyx, I will pop up anywhere. And obviously I gotta keep doing more work so it stays like that. But you'll remember Dre Onyx. You won't remember official Dre Live and that's a hard truth that I had to come with. That's a hard reality that I had to face. So I really want y'all to understand. I want y'all to know that, like I said, this is new beginnings, new chapters, new life, new journey. There's a bunch of different things that I added behind me with this name change. It feels as though that I've done so much, but so little. It feels like good things are happening, but it doesn't seem like they're happening quickly enough. You feel me? Time is short, life is short. Me this change of what I've done, the things that I've done, the things I've created, the things that I've wanted to do, especially with this name change, was change everything. So you guys can go on my pages. I've changed my profile pictures. You feel me? Changed everything. I want people to know me as that guy. When I thought of this name of mine, when I thought of everything that I wanted to do involving this name and everything that I wanted to create involving this change was, I want people to know me as a serious, goofy motherfucker. You feel me? I want people to know me as somebody goofy. Like, you you feel me? You understand? You could, I could be taken serious. I could be in that context. I could be in that conversation. You take me serious. You feel me? I'm not too really be played with. That's why on some of my profile pictures, if y'all looking and y'all see, I'm literally Finn, right? My, I'm Finn. But I got a Louis shirt on because I'm really on that type timing. I'm a goofy motherfucker, but I can be taken serious in those moments. Y'all understand it, but you could get it. When you first looking at somebody, you're going to be like, they goofy as hell. When you first look at my profile picture, you he goofy as shit. Yeah, he goofy, right? But you feel me? There's other little things that I did as well. Like small things, small details that I've added to not only the name, but the things that I want to push, the things that I want to do, the things that I want to create. I've been on YouTube once again for about three years now, dog. And it, it is a marathon. It is. But part of this marathon is being something or being somebody that people are able to resonate with. Something I've had to learn from day one. Some things that I had to get better at being in front of the camera, talking to myself, talking to me in the camera. I had to get better at this shit. Storytelling, there's a bunch of other things that I need to work on, things that I need to do, people that I need to see. But ultimately right now, I feel, I feel in my soul that, bro, shit is gonna be good, bro. Shit's gonna be all right, shit's gonna be good. In terms of other things, real life things, I'm going to be I'm going to be pushing for something that I'm looking for in everything that I'm doing. I'm seeing YouTube channels. Typically, people have three YouTube channels. People have their gaming channel, their main page, and then a page where they're posting live clips at. I'm in the works of doing that right now. I'm going to be using a lot of the templates that were laid out and set out for me. I'm going to be doing that for sure. But definitely the way I go about it, the, the way I do things, the way I carry myself in these actions is definitely going to be imperative a part of this journey. Like I said, I got a new character, I'm, going on. I'm a new person. Like I said, I like everything about it. It's, it's easy, it rolls off the tongue, it's two syllables. You feel me? I thought about all of this. I wrote down all of this in my book. So anytime you guys see a video from me, expect excitement. Anytime y'all see something involving me or see work done with me or hear anything about me, expect this face because this name goes with this face. I assured it. Anytime you type this name in, guess what? You'll see me. See somebody else, but you'll damn sure see me. Guaranteed. I gotta find a new intro for y'all though. I gotta find I gotta find some shit. Y'all fuck with. I don't really just wanna start the motherfucking video on some bullshit. I gotta find some intros for y'all. I gotta find some, I gotta get some shit done. I gotta get some work done. Feel me? I'm a whole new character. There's now now at this point money has to be spent in order to show that not only I'm serious, but not only that I, I'm I'm really doing this shit. I'm really on some timing with this shit, dog. But anyways, I digress. I talk for way too long. Y'all understand? I changed my name. I'm doing shit. Even though on the screen right now, probably down. Oh wait, no, it's over here. Or, or in this area, you'll still see subscribe to official Dre Live, or you'll see that annoying little shit pop up. Those are sentimental things, nostalgia things, things like when I was first starting on the internet. You feel me? This is some shit I thought was cool. So that may stay there. That little bonnet in the corner that you don't notice until I just pointed out, and that's in every single video. You feel me? Keep right there. Working right now. We're really working. We're really grinding to keep this this thing of mine this thing that i want to do this thing that i'm pushing so hard for try to keep it alive and i think this is a step in the right direction for sure anyway subscribe there's a video up on the screen hopefully a good video up on the screen i've been only streaming on this page for so long but now i got a sense of what i want to do and what i want to create on this page and i'm gonna push forward with all that i got so i'm gonna catch you on the next one take care of yourself love yourself man